What up, fam? It's your boy, G. Rich. I'm back in the kitchen today, fam. Matter of fact, I'm back outside. Yes, I'm going outside today. But right now, I'm in the kitchen getting ready to, uh, getting ready to season. Yes, you see the title up there. I'm going to do some lemon pepper grilled chicken, but I'm going to put it in a marinade. It's a 15-minute marinade. Uh, it's a lemon pepper marinade. I'm going to put it in there. and you know, let, But I'm going to marinate it for like 30 minutes. I'm going to do mine for 30 minutes. I'm not going to follow that for 15 minutes. It's not long enough for me. So I'm going to marinate for uh, about 30 minutes and um, head outside. But anyway, how's your Sunday going, man? Yes, yeah, sir. Mine is going good. Um, I'm alive. Ain't that right? We're alive, so it's got to be going good. <laughs> anyway, man, uh, hold on a second. I'm getting ready to you know, get my ingredients and stuff to show y'all what's going in, in the, for this particular recipe. And um, we're going to make it do what it do. Yes, sir. Miss y'all, man. Hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, fam. Here we go. Now, listen, fam. I have my usual. I got wings, uh, legs, and thighs. I got 13 pounds of chicken. You know I got a big family. My daughter and her family coming for dinner. And I got seven in here already. Yes, sir. So... By that amount, I'm going to need um, the right ingredients for this and the right amount. So, so pay attention to this recipe. It's a good one. Um, so, okay. Now, I got this clean and dried off as much as I could. Got to get all that water out of there. But anyway, okay. So, here we go. This is what you're going to need for this particular recipe. We got sweet and smoky. See it? Sweet and smoky from Southwest. It's salt-free. It's this will help it. It's a mild out the lemon flavor on it where it won't be too intense. You understand? It'll mild it out, but the lemon, the lemon will uh take over the chicken, but it won't like if you're just eating a just a tangy piece of lemon or something like that. <laughs> but you're gonna enjoy it. Listen to me. Okay. Got garlic salt. See, this I have my garlic and my little salt. Garlic salt. Now this garlic salt is not salty. You got to put enough on there in order to get a salt flavor. See, because I'm, I'm not going to use salt or uh, seasoned salt today. Okay? Yes, sir. Cayenne pepper. You got to have it. That good old black pepper. Yes, sir. Lowry's lemon pepper season. Got to have that. And here's the marinade for lemon pepper flavor. It's a 15-minute marinade. Yes, sir. But I, like I told you, I'm going to do mine, marinate mine for 30 minutes. I know what I'm doing. Stick with your boy G. Rich. Okay. So what I'm going to do, put the uh, Southwest Sweet and Smoky seasoning. I'm going to put one-fourth of a cup of, uh, of that in here. Told you what's that for. You need that just to mild the lemon flavor out a little bit. So sometimes I use paprika. Or paprika. <laughs> Big dog. All right. Yes, yeah, sir. Good in seasoning. This one is option, optional. You can modify it the way you want. One half a cup of cayenne pepper. Good in seasoning. People be thinking I'm from, I'm, I'm from uh, Louisiana with all that. You need that. That's for the garlic and the little salt taste to it. Don't worry, it's going to be mixed up real good. All right. That little kick. And you have one half a cup of the Lowry's lemon pepper seasoning. Look at all that. Say, Ooh, look at all that seasoning. Yes, sir. There's some chicken down up in here. That's why. <laughs> all right. Peanut butter, dirty time. Peanut butter, dirty time. Time to get dirty, fam. Okay, here we go. Let's shake some of that off of there. Get to the bottle. Now, let it brown up a little bit. Let's see what I tell you. Uh-huh. Ooh. Yeah. Let's see, when you put that See, you don't need that much of the marinade when it's going in the bag. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Oh, man. Yeah. And we're going to 
gonna count how many pieces of chicken this is. As we put them into the bags. You know how like I do sometimes. You notice I ain't putting no oil or no mustard in here, right? You know why? Because it's going in the, into a marinade. You don't wanna do that. Just how I want to look. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm doing this extra long, fam. Because I want it all throughout the chicken. I don't want to waste none of it. Yes, sir. Voila. Okay, so I'm going to get the bag, put them in the bag, and then we're going to put the marinade in the bag with, with it, and we're going to sit in the refrigerator for like 30 minutes. Be right back. Okay, fam. Get ready to put them in the bag. It's two. Look at these big old wings, fam. Yes, sir. Four. Six, eight, ten. That's about all you can get in there. <laughs> we'll need three bags. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, good. That's okay. Get another bag, fam. Hold on. Okay. Two. Four. Six. Well, that's 26 pieces of chicken. Not too bad. Okay, fam. I'm going to get ready to pour the marinade in here. I'm going to pour it down in there. Just a little bit. Move this out your way. There you go. You don't need that much marinade. Okay. I'm gonna take it, zip it up, with the chicken round in it. Look at that. Besides, see, see what I'm saying? I was holding all the flavor together. That's what I wanted. It don't have to be overdone. The marinade is pretty powerful, enough to get on all, all the pieces of chicken. Yeah. There you go. That's the look I'm looking for. Okay, we're getting ready. To, I'm going to put this in the uh, refrigerator, and I'm going to sit it there, sit it in there for, like I said, for 30 minutes, and then we're going to head outside. Hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, fam. We are ready. The grill is hot and ready to go. Yes, sir. Hot and ready to go. All right. This is my marinated chicken. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I almost dropped it. It'll be a disaster. All right. I'm go ahead and place them right on, on there. I know a lot of people like to fold their wing tips. No, I like to leave them open. I'm gonna get all down in there and cook. Open them wide open. Especially when they that big. When they, they, these are huge. I want to get them cooking all the way through. You can just put the meat, put them in it in the way you want to on this grill. <clears throat> I'm gonna make it work. Look at that. Don't they look good in season, fam? Know that look good in season to you, fam. Come on now, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. It smells so good. See, you don't need no sauce on this. You're not going to need no sauce. We're going to eat this just like this, right off the grill. Yes, sir. Oh, 
Man, yes. It's absolutely perfect. One more. Don't worry about it catching the, fl uh, the fire. See how the fire is starting to come in there? Don't worry about that. It won't do no damage no time soon. I'm getting ready to knock that down in a few seconds. You know, y'all know how I do it. Yes, sir. Right? Knock it down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Now, here's go my onions. <laughs> I got a whole bucket of onions. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. Y'all stick with your boy G. Rich. If you like what I do, man, hit that subscription button and then hit that notification bell. Yes, sir. So you can get all the videos, pop up on your phone, on your TV screen. See what the G. Rich is cooking next. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. That's going to be good, fam. That's going to be good. Ooh. And what I have in my water bottle for all the pre pe new people, new subscribers, this is just salt water. It's salt water and with a little cayenne pepper in it. Because you notice if you use water, you know how people use this spray bottle and spray the meat down. And if you just got regular water, you're going to spray your seasoning off your chicken or off your meat. Whatever you want to do, you're going to knock the flavor off of it. You don't want to do that. So you put a little light seasoned salt water in there, spray it down your food and just be fine, okay? No, it won't make your food extra salty, no. I didn't say put a whole bottle of salt in there. <laughs> just have a little salt water. All right, we'll be back to check on it. Yes, sir. All right, fam, let's check it out. See how is it coming. Oh, yeah. Coming right along. Mm-hmm. Over here. Keep the chicken good and moist. It smells so good, fam. Yes, sir. Listen, folks. Um, I know this this COVID season, man. This thing, it's it's been long. <sighs> Boy, I tell you, it's been long, and it's been a long struggle this whole year. But man, if we still here, we got to hold on. We got to fight on. Keep stay prayed up and do the best you can. That's it. You know, uh, uh, um. You know, a lot of people want you to, to, to pull, try to pull blood from a turnip, as they say from you. Hey, man, do pray about whatever your situation is. Uh, and um, if you believe, if you're a believer, true believer in Christ, pray about everything, any and everything, and leave it right there. If you don't get what you prayed for, it wasn't meant for you. That's the way it is. Love whatever you do and do the best you can. Yes, sir. Hold on tight, I'll be right back. All right, fam, let's check it out. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Now, you see how moist that is? You see how done that look? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I got it moist like I want to. Got the meat smoked like I want to. Now, I'm gonna close it, and I'm gonna open up the bin a little bit. So it could cook a little harder, get a little harder, and then I'm gonna take it off. I'll see you on the inside. It's almost done, so about 15 more minutes with the vents open, then we'll be done. Hold on tight, I'll be right back. All right, fam, I think we about ready. Ready to go in. Oh, man, look at that. Yes, sir. Ooh. We about ready to go in. And here's my finished look, fam. There it is. Ooh, lemon pepper grilled chicken. Yeah, you can hear my mouth water because I'd already done had a piece, fam. It's delicious. I'm telling you, you're going to love it.
Oh my goodness. I can't wait to eat dinner. What well, we also having with dinner, we're having the baby making um uh, she making uh chuck roast, smothered chuck roast, uh green beans with ham hocks in it, lima beans with smoked neck bones in it, rice, um and and cookies for dessert. Yes, sir. Hey man, it's been a pleasure. Love y'all to life. G Rich out. In your mind.